Hello, my name is Kerry Martell, and I run this blog here, which is completely free for anybody to read. It talks about all the various things I've been doing uh, marketing my YouTube channel. Now, a lot of people will tell you all kinds of different information about how you should market a YouTube channel. And I'm here to tell you that a lot of the stuff people say you should do, that stuff is either so expensive compared to what you're going to get that it's not worth it, or it just plain doesn't work. And I, I go into a lot of detail here about a lot of things that work and a lot of things that don't work. And I've been writing this blog mostly not really showing anybody it. I'm just writing it mostly for my own um, knowledge. But now it's time, I think, to start sharing this with the rest of the YouTube community. A few things here that a lot of people are going to really like. First of all, um, if you're concerned about click bombing. It's a big problem for a lot of YouTube partners. They're always afraid they're going to get click bombed. I have a guide on my website. I'll have a link here in the description of this video that goes straight to my guide to watch out for click bombings and what to happen if you do get click bombing so that you retain your AdSense. Now that lots of people have been opened up to become YouTube partners, this is a really big deal. Um, another thing that I have here is I talk about various things that are going on. Like, for example, content ID is kind of under fire right now in the media. There's a lot of people who are upset with the way that YouTube is handling content ID. And I talk a little bit I talk a little about this here. Another thing I do is I have advice here for effectively choosing a YouTube channel. Now, a lot of people have, you know, pen, pen names that they use for many, many years. Like, for example, I use Jay Friedon for a long, long time. But that's not really the best type of username to have if you want to, you know, get keywords um, to get search engine traffic from keywords people are putting in. So, for example, I made a new channel called the RPG Fanatic for my RPG videos, uh, video game journalism, video game journalism stuff. And I have an article here that talks about how you can find out the keyword data, uh, for example, uh, this to see the types of global searches people do. Uh, to find out what type of keywords that you should use in your channel names, in your descriptions, and stuff of that nature. Uh, I give you the links, the direct links to this stuff. And I take you through the process of how I do stuff. For example, I've got an article here about how to get your video on the front page of Google Search. You might think it's impossible, and yet, here we go. All three of these articles are things I created, front page of Google Search results for Ragnarok Online Leveling Guide. That may, may not think that's a big deal, but this actually brings a thousand traffic. Just this alone is bringing a thousand traffic to my website a month, which might not sound really great. But when you have tons of articles who are bringing in thousands of traffic uh, every day, or not every month, it adds up. Another thing to talk about is like uh, Cosmic Pandas update and how that affected uh, YouTube. And doing things like, for example, uh, making the search results for World of Warcraft. Uh, the top results being a bunch of music videos from Vivo. Uh, a bunch of related videos have nothing to do with World of Warcraft. So I'll talk a little bit about that. There's all kinds of stuff here I've been writing. I've got tons and tons of articles. You should definitely check out my site if you're interested in being serious about YouTube. If you just want to play around with YouTube, make videos, and you don't really care if you make any money off of it, it's not business for you, then the site's probably not going to be that useful for you. But if you treat this, you know, you want to make your own video studio, this is the type of thing you need to read. You need to read my website. So thank you for your time, and I hope you get something out of this.